shit oh my hey what's up guys namanil here and welcome to the unboxing of redmi 4 2gb ram variant so without further delay let's get started No one ever sees me, sees me. I'm losing every battle. Can somebody save me? Save me. I never know which way I'm supposed to go. All I do is stare at my window. I feel just like a ghost that you walk right through. I feel like a shadow. I just want to know in my insane, insane. I just want to know in my insane. So here is the Redmi 4 inside the box. It comes inside a white box as you can see. Let me give you a quick overview of the box. On the top there is nothing except a big 4 written. I don't know whether you can see or not. On the left Redmi 4, on the top MI, on the right again Redmi 4 and on the bottom MI are written. On the back there are some important features mentioned like as I already said it is a 2GB RAM variant and it has got 16GB of internal storage. It comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 435 octa-core processor powered at 1.4 GHz. It has got a 5-inch HD display, 13 MP of rear camera with face detection autofocus and a 5 MP of front camera. Now the product is made in India as you can see so that's a very nice thing. The price of this variant is 6999 Indian rupees that is 7000 rupees. So let's open the seal. Again there are other variants of Redmi 4 and the 3GB RAM and 32GB ROM variant will cost you 8999 rupees and the 4GB RAM and 64GB ROM variant will cost you 10999 that is 11000 rupees the GPU inside is Adreno 505 It has got a huge 4,100 milliampere non-removable battery and also fingerprint scanner. Now, as soon as you open the box, we get the Redmi 4 itself at the very top. Let me just keep it aside. Then we get some documentations, which may come handy. After that, we get a charger. Now this is not a fast charger as Xiaomi has disabled fast charging for heating issues. Then there is a SIM ejector pin and finally a micro USB to USB cable for charging and data syncing. So that's pretty much it for the contents. Let me just clean up the mess and take a look at the smartphone for the first time. Let me just peel off the screen guard and stops. Now the phone looks very solid in hand and as this is a 5 inch display so it's very compact in hand and also the fingerprint scanner is comfortable to reach. Now while I set up the smartphone let me just give you a quick overview of it. Redmi 4 has got a 5 inch HD display as I already mentioned and Xiaomi has not mentioned any kind of protection on it. It has got 2.5D carved glass so it gives a great feel when you touch. Apart from that there is a 5 megapixel of front cam, speaker for calls and sensors at the top. There are also capacitive touch buttons which are not backlit so it may be difficult for you to find out but once you get used to it will be easy for you. The back is made out of metal but the top and the bottom portions are plastic. There is a fingerprint scanner and 13 megapixel of rear camera with LED flash at the back and also some informations with MI branding. On the top there is 3.5 mm headphone jack, secondary noise cancellation microphone and IR blaster. Now IR blaster is very common thing about Xiaomi devices. On the bottom there is speaker on the right side and microphone on the left side and in the middle there is micro USB port. On the left side there is SIM tray. Now it has got a hybrid SIM tray that is the first SIM slot accepts micro SIM and the second slot accepts either nano SIM or micro SD card. On the right there is the power button and the volume rockers. Now both the power button and the volume rockers are very sturdy and gives a nice tactile feedback. 
So I've already set up the device and as you can see it comes with MIUI with some bloatwares. Now we can definitely get rid of these bloatwares by simply uninstalling them. Now the display has a kind of warm tint in it which I'm not liking at all. So I changed the saturation to cool to make it normal. Now let me show you Android and MIUI versions. So Redmi 4 comes with MIUI Global version 8.2 and Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So this is quite disappointing, hope Xiaomi will update the Android version soon. So let's check out the storage. So out of 16GB, 10.4GB is free and in case of RAM, 1GB is free out of 2GB. Let me now set up the fingerprint scanner. For better accuracy, you should place a finger in many directions like this. So the fingerprint is set now. Let's now check it. So as you can see, the fingerprint scanner is blazing fast. No issues at all. Let me now show you the camera interface. Again a basic camera interface which we see in all Xiaomi devices. Now there are some modes like panorama, timer, filters and stuff. You can also change the exposure, white balance and ISO manually. The rear camera has f2.0 aperture and the front camera has f2.2 aperture. Now the good thing is that the rear camera as well as the front camera can shoot videos in 1080p at 30 fps and here are some samples which are shot from the camera as you can see when there is plenty of light the rear camera as well as the front camera can show decent pictures with great color accuracy and details but under artificial light or in low light situations there is quite amount of noise and less details but the pictures are not bad at all considering the price of this device, especially the 2GB RAM variant which I am using right now. When we talk about the sensors, as usual, Xiaomi has provided all possible sensors like accelerometer, gyroscope, compass, gravity sensor, pedometer and many more. So this was a quick unboxing and overview of Redmi 4. To me, it is a very solid device with some great hardware and a welcome upgrade over the Redmi 4A and the 3GB RAM variant is definitely a stellar at its price. So this was all for the video, hope you enjoyed the video and if you have liked it, give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to get subscribed as many more unboxings like this are coming soon in the channel and also don't forget to keep the notifications on to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So thank you for watching, this is Nominil and I will catch you guys in the next video.